Bloomberg Audio Studios. Podcasts, radio, news. Single best idea. It seems like we've been, you know, it's like we're ending the year. I mean, May has been exhausting so far and in a good way. I just can't say enough about the conversation day to day. There's a lot. Somebody stopped me on the street the other day. They said, how do you do this? Like, are you booking people and, you know, all that? And I, I can't say enough how I learned years ago doing this when I invented this with Emily. Uh, the, the, the basic idea here is massive delegation of authority. And I have no idea at 659 who's on the show. That's when I learn. And that's the way I want it. And, you know, every once in a while, there's somebody who's like, why are we doing this? But what you end up with is this thickness of conversation bouncing around. And it's just been so rich in May. It's just been, you know, the side selling May and go away, mentally go away with an economics, finance, and investment. I just don't get it right now. Sweeney looks like a genius. Maybe we get a 40,000 print today on the Dow. We did in the futures, but that doesn't count. We've got to get it in a daily close. For, to be honest, there's two technical ways you look at a close. There's the daily close, which is gospel, if you will. And a lot of pros will take a longer time zone, and they look at a weekly close to Friday. This is ancient, goes back before computers, frankly. So you look at a weekly close. Can the Dow close at 40,000 on a Friday? And that's a big deal as well. The Bloomberg has a function called a roll, R-O-L-L, where I can pick a weekly close on a Tuesday or a weekly close on a Thursday. I do that all the time sort of a blend of the two strategies. But can we get the Dow 40,000 or SPX 5300 on a weekly close or a daily close? We did that with a record high in the SPX yesterday. Enough. Sometimes there's just moments where you have to stop. What a good time we've been having with David Solomon of Goldman Sachs, Brian Moynihan, Bank of America, and Francine Lacroix in Paris, sort of a capitalism, French Macron soirée. Uh, before the Olympics. And, you know, Francie's talking to James Diamond of J.P. Morgan, and Jamie Diamond's going on. And she drops the brick in the middle of the interview and says, how about those lazy French people? Diamond finessing it like only Jamie Diamond can do. Let's listen. I hate total blanket statements like that. I know a lot of Europeans who work hard. But but I think when you see the thing about work hours, I think it is somewhat true. Uh, um, Americans are hardworking. Anywhere you go around America is hardworking, but I see that here too. You know, I don't think, and the innovation people you meet, they're working just as hard as the innovation people in the United States. I heard one of his PR people outside, mon dieu, when Francine uh, asked that. Uh, here's the math on this, folks. I actually looked it up once, and this goes back to, well, Christine Lagarde is trade minister. I believe it was for Sarkozy or Thierry Breton out of Orange and Telecom was the uh, I think the French finance minister goes way back where I would research, research this. This is a delicate topic, obviously. It's shocking how culturally they work less than we do, but they get just as much done. Their productivity is pretty much equal to what we do, and they're not working like idiots like me. I mean, frankly, and Francine knows this. I mean, Francine and I, we bust our chops on this for years. But that was a great question. It was great to hear Jamie Dimon finesse uh, that answer. He builds out a 1,000 employees uh, in Paris, in uh, France as well. Huge conversation today, of course. <coughs> Excuse me. All of the markets off the Fed. And I thought Constance Hunter was particularly good at macro policy uh, perspectives, working with Julia Coronado, and they're just looking at the back and the forth of the Fed parlor game. We're going to hear a lot more of this uh, to June 12th, the next Fed meeting. Let's listen to Constance Hunter. You would be surprised how many people thought that the Fed doesn't need to cut, that the economy is hmm. strong. And it is this K-shaped economy again, yeah. which makes it very hard to interpret, right? If you're in the top part of the K, you think, wow, everything's great. My stocks are up. I'm getting interest on my savings and my with no risk. I, it, it, the economy's doing really well. My house price is up. But if you're in that bottom part of the K, you're like, wow, my, insur my car insurance just went up and I still need my car to drive to work. And I don't have the bandwidth to figure out how to push back on this or shop for a different insurance insurance cover carrier that's going to give me the same coverage at a better rate, right? Yep. You're really under pressure if you're at the bottom half of that K. That is the most accessible conversation 
of the week. You know where I am on this, folks. I can't, I, I just, I'm sorry, the late Alan Meltzer. I can't aggregate in this polarity of America. There was V-shaped, blah, 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 and all the other jargon over the years. K-shaped caps, is that you go up the K to the halves, the asset holders, all doing well. There were Walmart, I guess it was well today. There's a whole group of people shopping at Walmart trying to figure out how to stretch $100. I mean, it's the polarity in America to the election is extraordinary. I thought Constance Hunter did a great job of explaining that. We're on Apple CarPlay on Android. We're building that out. Thank you so much worldwide for choosing Apple CarPlay. It's safer and better, according to Apple. I guess it is. I don't have it. The Nash Rambler, it just... The voltage or something off the battery and the what's the thing called, Eric? The th- the thing next to the battery. It's off the engine. The 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 cil- It's a cylinder shape. I can't remember what it's called. Anyways, they told me I can't do Air- Apple CarPlay off the Nash, but you can on a lot of new cars. And we say thank you for that on YouTube. Subscribe to Bloomberg Podcast. That's what we've decided. Subscribe to Bloomberg Podcast. You get all of our good products. Search Bloomberg Podcast. We're there. Our replay is there, two hours and 56 minutes. On Apple Podcasts, it's single best idea.